Vengeance is at hand.
here. How can I serve you, my Thane? Lead on. You're looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years.
It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The y'all can hardly eat every deer now.
Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. If you Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Pa My papa says I'm gregarious. Just like him. He says it means smart. But my brother says he's wrong. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Finest fish here, caught daily. Hail, companion.
solo performance is about a week away. I expect to hear your early rendition tomorrow, understand? Welcome to Solitude, home of the arts here in Skyrim. I hope it can stand up to the classics. I'll be the judge of that. Now back to your... It is my personal mission to ensure that the Bard's College preserves the great deeds of the past in both poetry and song. Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? I have to admit I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well... Bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What do we say really happened? find that highly unlikely, but the court will love it. I'm writing it in. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked! Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Is exciting. I'm sure the court and the Yara will love it. I'm, I'm writing it in now. It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Got your back. How can I serve you, my thing? Let's get going, then.
I do hope the court likes the purse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Viarmo, I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From Falkreath to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, winter hold disguises. An attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight, but they reversed Olaf's orders much to Winterhold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in... The recovering the poem will be well rewarded. The Imperial Unbelievable! Business is You've done us a great me. service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, soon, these things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! Please address all questions to the steward, Falk Firebeard. My duty is to keep the Jarl safe, not play nursemaid to you sycophants. It's a fine day with you around. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Do you have business with the court? I won't forget what you've done for solitude. The yard... Splendid! There's a house available right now. Very well. Just let me know when you're ready to purchase the house. Anyone with a stout heart like yours is welcome here. Thane Bryling, at your service. 
I can always find time to share a word with a warrior. The Ryling's obsession with honor and tradition is quaint, but politically irrelevant. I'm a Thane. In the future, you may want to gain that information before talking with someone. Risk of looking like an idiot and all that. Oh, most certainly. At least when Elisif herself asks. If you're inquiring whether we have concerns about her age and inexperience, uh, let me put it this way. The Thanes have every confidence in General Tullius's leadership. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. <laughs> I understand what's best for solitude, and Jarl Ellison. Everything's all right. It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. His late lordship was quite the admirer. Ah, the bard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? I'll tell everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Ah, the bard to be. Did Viarmo send you? My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry. Welcome to Solitude, home of the arts here in Skyrim. A song speed you along. Well, look at you. If only everyone acted like you did. You've been working on your poem on the classical heroes of Skyrim, yes? I generally don't involve. We study the heroes of the past so we can have a better ah, understanding. Ah, bard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? I'll tell everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. You're new here, right? Welcome to the Bard's College. It's like a, a musical museum. King Skiva's got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. Take 
take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Oh, what clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Finally. I've got your back. I am at your command. Let's get going then. Oh, I can help with purchase. Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Thank the gods for the end of yet another pointless conversation. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Take a look. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Ooh. Lightly armored means light on your feet. Smart.
seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Return any time you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Right behind you. I am at your command. You lead, I'll follow. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. safe, and always wear your armor. Need something? I'll tell everyone we're ready, but we'll start the festival. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival start. But when you do. Ah, the bard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? Great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. Jorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear him sing.
Might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival, after all. Yorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear him sing. You might as well have some sweets. Made them for the festival, after all. Yorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear him sing. Candy! Get your King Olaf's festival candy! Yorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear him sing. Come on, light the fire. Might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival after all. Welcome, people of solitude! We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, he becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard! Like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. I believe Sanguine would be pleased with this festival. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. Labrina. That fool student of mine stole my flute and sold it to some necromancer. I just got a ransom note for it. That flute has been handed down for 17 generations. Well, don't just stand there. Go get my flute! Apparently, Lorena told him some story about the flute being able to make the dead dance. It's just a flute. A really old and valuable flute, but just a flute. Now you can say you've I met the most Sanguine talented bard in all of Skyrim. You've done well by restoring our festival. Burn the king! Burn the king! So nice to get this break from my cleaning duties. Burn the king! Best batch of spiced wine I ever had. Burn the king! I thought the festival wasn't happening this year. Thanks for convincing Elisif to put this on again. I thought the festival wasn't happening this year. I like the pretty lights. I like the pretty lights. Burn the king! Yorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear him sing. You might as well have some sweets. I'm not Made looking for, for conversation. Festival, after all. I should make sure Safari's okay.
Yeah, it's your festival meat pie, specially made. I said a free meat pie, as in one. Here's yours. Yours Might is as the well best have of the fun. Sweets. You should hear it say. I sing. made them for the festival, after all. Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. Just one bottle per customer, except for the man who saved the festival. Here's a couple of bottles for you. 